Now the second type of organisms are called as conformers. So as per NCRT, 99% of animals and all the plants are ectotherm. Ectotherm means uh, those which are cold blooded. So they are not able to maintain a constant temperature if the outside temperature is increasing. So such are called as cold blooded or poikilothermic as per your 11th class NCRT book. Now in such organism, why these organisms are still conformer because we can say through evolution organisms develop better adaptations. Why conformers are still conformers after so many years of evolution? Reason is that the homeostasis is an energetically expensive process. Basically thermoregulation is energy consuming process. Now uh, it's something like some organisms do not have with them the store of the energy to be used if they do not have the energy to be used for thermoregulation so they have still continued to act like a conformer through these millions of years of evolution and those organisms which could somehow manage the availability of energy for maintaining thermoregulation those have slowly turned into regulators. Now homeostasis is energetically expensive process especially the thermoregulation and even the heat loss and heat gain they are related to surface area. Now there is another concept mentioned in the NCRT and uh, those organisms it talks about Bergman rule. It talks about the concept of the Bergman rule. So let's first of all read from the notes itself. So heat loss and heat gain is related to surface area. We all know if the heat has to be lost or heat has to be gained, it has to occur through the surface area. So greater the surface area, faster will be the heat loss for those organisms who are in cold region. So those who are living in the cooler places like polar regions or arctic area or alpine area or top of a mountain, those ma mammals will face problem. The problem will be because their body surface is too big compared to the volume they are holding inside. So small sized animals have greater surface area when compared to their volume. Therefore these animals are going to lose heat very fast and because their volume is very less they can store very few amount of very less amount of the fat or reservoir of food to be burned to produce heat. So such animals cannot survive in the colder region. This is given in the NCRT but the name is not mentioned. This rule is called as the Bergman's rule. So this rule is called as Bergman rule. According to this rule very small animals are rarely found in the polar region and the reason is the small animal size means surface area is more compared to the volume. So they, they are able to generate less heat and they cannot survive in the cold region because if the surface area is big and volume is less, they lose heat very fast. Now there are some organisms which are partial regulators that means they are not able to continue to regulate temperature for, for a long period of time. So after some time, after some, some time they start acting like conformers. The next thing is to understand is that there are some other options also with the organisms to perform, especially the like take, like take an example of birds or mammals. So uh, if the stressful conditions are for short duration of time, now if the conditions, bad conditions, unfavorable conditions are only for maybe a month or so, two months or so, that means the temporary, temporary problems are there. In that case, organism won't think, will not think of using the expensive energy consuming process to become a regulator. So in such cases organism have another option and that is that if they are motile they can migrate. So there are migration also as an available uh, option for the organism to avoid the stressful condition. So what is migration? Moving on to the favorable habitat and then returning when the unfavorable period in their home area or home habitat is over is called as to migrate. Now for example in the junior classes you kept learning a lot of examples. The best example every winter the famous Kulado National Park which is in the Bharatpur means Rajasthan bird, bird century or, or the national park. Thousands of uh, migratory birds come in the month of November or so and they breed here 
they stay here they increase their population here they come from siberia or you can say trans himalayan region where it is snow over there so they don't find food over there and they know the condition is very harsh for few months over there so they come in the month of november december january and then by the end of february or beginning of march they again go back to their home area this is called as migration in the same manner there are birds which migrate from close to the north pole they migrate to the south pole then it starts uh, appearing winters in the north and they come back to the north pole side when it starts becoming winters in the south so this is how birds are able to migrate if you have seen to the television also they show wildly beast they show so many zebras and all all migrating they migrate because they want to avoid the stressful condition but that stressful condition is temporary in the another method available to plants or the animals is the suspension now we all know not every organism is able to migrate because if they are motile like think of an example of snails snails are motile but their speed of walking is so poor that they cannot migrate a long distance and by the time harsh conditions will appear so that's why another option available to the organism is to undergo suspension let's understand what exactly suspension is